In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, we had Lalo for the first time on this account, and we had no heroes. So, today, the heroes are ready to go, the gem box is here, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get a skin for your heroes without buying the Golden Pass. Thank you Supercell for the gem box. What a way to start out today's video. And as you can see, we're hanging out on the progress base with 109 pieces of wall to go. But there's a lot of progression that's happened since the last time we met. We're in episode 27 today, which is a few days after episode 26 has dropped. And as you can see, we have research to do. The heroes have upgraded themselves a level from 17 to 18 and from 15 to 16. We're gonna stop for a second because I need to thank AFK Arena for sponsoring this video and I know that we we have a lot of Assassin's Creed fans here today and well, it's an exciting day for you because Assassin's Creed has teamed up with AFK Arena as Ezio is now part of the lineup. I know when we're playing Assassin's Creed, you're not really able to upgrade your character. It's an action game, guys. You're just diving in and playing the game. But inside of AFK Arena, you could spend that time upgrading Ezio and making him as strong as possible if he's maybe maybe he's gonna be your favorite hero inside of the game either way you're gonna want to drop into the description of this video so you can download AFK Arena using my special link and that's gonna give you this amazing new update material that you're definitely gonna want to try now I know you guys have heard me talk about AFK Arena before it's a fun game to play Pretty easy to just jump right into, understand what's going on, and really enjoy some action with a lot of upgrade potential. And if you're someone like me that likes to grind your way through these upgrades, and a lot of this goes on by itself in the background when you're not even playing the game, then this is a game for you. And again, it's one that you're gonna have to try. And on top of being a grinder, maybe you're someone that loves to collect stuff. And you know, we got a lot of collectors here. You can collect all these different cards. They're really cool looking the art style is amazing and it can fulfill that collector inside of you and like we said now Ezio can be part of that collection and for all you art connoisseurs out there fresco is what this art style that they use inside of the game is called it's like a mural kind of art I have to say it looks pretty cool though I'm not a connoisseur myself but what is the most important is that you drop into the description download the game try out Ezio and enjoy yourself in AFK arena but we do have Lalo trained up we're gonna be doing some farming to get enough loot because we really need to research something important and notice the zap spell went from four to five but we need to get it from five to six so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get enough loot for that today, but we're definitely going to try. Make sure you sub the channel, ring the bell for Daily Clash videos if that's your kind of thing, and if you like mobile games and stuff, sub, ring the bell, hang out with me every day. So I guess we should address what this video is mainly about, my friends, and that is gonna be how to get skins on your heroes without buying the pass. Now, free to play account. I'm not spending any gems on it. Only gems that I get are from gem boxes, from trees, and of course, coming over here and grabbing my free gems. Well, there's 13 more. So thank you, Supercell, again, for the free gems. But you're going to go to your hero. You're going to click on Change Skin, and there will be a few skins available for changing now. Gladiator Skin, I really do like that skin. We have the Valkyrie Skin. I like that one, too. But neither one of these is my favorite skins that are available. But let's check out the King. He's got my favorite skin available. So it has to be the one that we go with today. We have the Gladiator King and the P.E.K.K.A. King, which is my favorite skin for the King inside of the game. It's close with the Skeleton King, but I do love the P.E.K.K.A. King, so we're gonna go buy that. 1,500 gems. I really don't need gems for much else right now because, well, I don't know, I really don't. So we're gonna buy this skin so that my King is not so naked. There we go. Now let's check him out. We have it activated, let's select it, and there, oh man, that king got struck with the lightning and is now looking like a boss. So now I sit with only 2,657 gems, and that's really enough to get another skin if I wanted to, but I'm gonna hold off. We are not going to get one for the queen until maybe another one becomes available that I fall in love with more, I'm not really sure. I'm in war, looks like we're losing 42 to 11, but this war is young, it's only been on for about four hours so we got some stuff to do maybe we'll take a look at something from that war as well today let's go in get some loot while we're looking for it guys let's check out some of your comments All right, 
So we came upon a pretty good base. The queen on defense is down. The bows, they, it's hard to tell. Uh, I think they are pointed up in air. All we gotta worry about is a clan castle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get my heroes into the court. Actually, I don't have my kill squad here. What's even in here? Oh, we just have straight up Lalo. So it's gonna be a Sui Lalo we're doing today. My, my, how are we gonna get this one done? Let's see, the sweeper is pointing that way and that. We're gonna come in from the top. We're gonna come in with one hound and a bunch of balloons, kind of doing that like craziness with the balloons and another hound over here. Then I'm gonna come in with one more hound. There is a defensive clan castle. Oh no. We're gonna go with the rage spell, the haste spell. Let's hope that those minions can help out and get on top of there, but I'm a little concerned because, uh, well, it's never good when you have the, uh, yeah, the E-Drag on top of your balloons. We're gonna haste all these around, haste them in there. I probably, uh, I probably messed up here, guys. We did not anticipate a clan castle, but we are still doing okay. Look at this, the pups are on top of the Electro Dragon. Not anymore, it's so sad. They did just take, oh, the E-Drag went down. The E-Drag went down to some pups. We're gonna go like this and like this, and I'm gonna go, hmm, let's try and clean the rest of this up. We're gonna get the king and the queen right here. It looks like, even though there's an Electro Dragon in the clan castle, we may be able to still clear this base because of all the number of pups, because the heroes are still up, and look at that P.E.K.K.A. King doing what he does best. And that's just run around the base and tank for the queen. The balloons, oh, oh, minions and pups are on the Electro Dragon. Will it be enough to take it down? It is going to do it. Oh, yes, they did get that Electro Dragon down. Do not fear the E-Drag and the CC, guys, because your minions, your pups, your heroes, your wizards, your archers, they will be able to take it down and check this out. The heroes are going to be good to go for another day. They... Perfect! Just so we lalo! We didn't even really use the heroes. I'm a b we are keeping tally of all the wall up top. Like I said, 109 pieces left to go. We're gonna request another CC. I'm saying for war just because I didn't change my text. I'm not lying, I just didn't uh, update it properly. What do we have trained up here? Looks like we have the same army trained, but I'm gonna go train up another army, which is going to be, it's my use code echo one. Wall breakers, a golem. We're gonna put bowlers or valkyries in the clan castle, coming with a light lalo behind. So we're gonna train that bad boy up. In the CC right now, we take a look. We have a Lava Hound and a Skeleton spell. Tons of gold, which means we're gonna be able to do some good wall, but first, another attack. Let's see how long it takes me. Find a base that works. That last one was just maybe three or four clicks, but sometimes it takes 17 hours. And I found one of my favorite things here to just steal a little loot. I'm not gonna attack this base, but we need that elixir and I don't care about my league. So what I'm gonna do is just drop in my queen right here and steal this loot. Let's see how that works out. I shouldn't be in range of the Archer Tower, and if I am, I'll just pop her ability and leave. I do lose a little bit of trophies, but really, who cares? We need the Elixir to do the upgrades, and that is exactly how you do it. You just drop her in, grab a little bit of loot, and then you hit the ability, and you dip on the attack. No big deal. Got myself an extra 70,000, making our way with that 4%. All right, we found a base that's pretty decent here. It has 500,000 of each, a little light on the Dark Elixir, but low air defenses. Looks like they have dead bows, but there is a queen in the core of the base. Now, I do have my skeleton spell to deal with that. So we're going to start off our heroes down below, trying to take out this air defense. Let's see how that works out. King and queen. The king is going to tank. The queen may be able to get the enemy queen down as well. Since we don't have the kill squad going, we can't go into the base with just the heroes. So it's basically all an air attack. So the queen will hopefully make her way up to the air defense and maybe even waken up that, uh, wake up that, that other enemy queen. We're gonna have to see. Okay, she is gonna take out the air defense. She's not gonna be able to deal with the enemy queen though. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go with hound, hound, pop the queen and all the balloons. We're gonna go around and then we're gonna go with a whole bunch of minions straight through the core. And you get that CC hound in there as well. We're gonna go with the haste spell there. We're gonna go with the rage spell on all this, trying to get them in. We're gonna put the skelly spell on top of that. Uh-oh, queen jumped across the wall, which is never good. We're gonna go with the poison spell on top of her, hasting these balloons out of there. Seven more balloons spread up across the top. Three more spells are intact. The enemy queen did go down because of those, uh, because of the skeletons. That worked out nicely, actually. 
So yeah, that's it guys. I mean, we got this base. That was pretty, pretty cake to be honest with you. We have one more hay spell, which I'll use right about here. Lava Hound is gonna tank lead the way and the balloons will clean up what's left. All right, the base wasn't so hard, but we grabbed all the loot from it. Notice what I did there, guys. We started in the south, we cleared the base, and I was able to work my way around from the east up to the north, all the way back to the west. You want your Lava Hound and balloons pathing through the base in a clockwise or a counterclockwise motion rather than just going all over the place. Went pretty well there, and Town Hall 9 is a great Town Hall level to practice this strategy because the bases aren't massive yet. You're not dealing with Town Hall 11, 12, 13 size bases, so you can really learn the fundamentals. All right, here's the attempt. Seven pieces of wall, selecting the row, upgrading them all, cha-ching. We're gonna upgrade them all again, cha-ching. Oh, we don't wanna use, we don't wanna use the elixir. We need to save that. So I need to actually take a piece, put them back over here. Now, can we do all this, selecting the row? Nope, we need to get rid of one more. So really, I think we're only gonna get, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five pieces done today. Select it, there we go, upgrading them. Five more pieces of wall are complete, getting us closer and closer to max level wall. In place and it's official. There's a live hit going on. Uh, unfortunately, it's on the other side of the war. I don't wanna burn our own bases, unless if it's mine, which it's not. So we're not gonna do that right here. But let me adjust the ticker so that the numbers are actually on point because I'm a little OCD. But now let's take a peek in this war. Let's see what's going on and if we had any triples yet. And it looks like we didn't. It was our boy Kneecap coming in with a Lalo strategy himself. Two Lava Hounds, a couple of Hog Riders. He's going in with the Zap though, really taking out the core of that base and man, just completely wiped out those four structures. Check that out. Really great value out of the zap. But that leaves him with only one rage and three haste spells left over. Clan Castle lore was a success. You gotta, you gotta, you know, appreciate that. Notice he didn't go in and zap the clan castle. Instead, he went for some defenses. King and Queen are there. The Queen's gonna be able to clean up all that mess. The enemy queen is there as well. Poison spells slowing things down, including that enemy defensive queen. Now, if our queen would get on top of things, it would really be a good story. Popping her ability because she needs to go down quickly. She need, There's a there's a, wish, a witch to deal with, and witches can be a problem, especially when we're dealing with out a poison spell. Notice the poison did wear out, but he dropped a wizard, a minion, and had the queen's ability intact, was able to take down the enemy queen, was able to take down those witches as well. And notice those two ADs, there's only two standing left in the base. So clan castle, queen, and air defense is already taken care of. Now what he's doing is setting that funnel. This time he's going in a clockwise direction. Starting in the west, they're gonna make their way up north, then head their way back down to the east and then finish off down south. So they have a clear path to go. Most likely these balloons are gonna path in the right direction. Coming in with more of them up top, he's gotta be a little bit lighter on the hay spells than I was being in the attacks that you saw earlier, but that's only because he's got less spells. I could kind of spam them around the base pretty easily and not have to worry about the, you know, having enough. He's gotta be a little bit more perfect with his spell placement. Now, as I'm checking this out, there's one bow left, two Tesla, and a double cannon, which doesn't do a thing for these balloons. So right now, the Lava Hound is tanking. I'd actually like to see the Lava Hound go down so that they could have more pups to clean up the rest of the base. 53 seconds left in the attack and uh, quite a few balloons starting to, or they're soon gonna be starting up that cleanup. Enemy King is there, doesn't know what's in store, and they are using the P.E.K.K.A. skin just like me, and if you decide to use use skins or buy gems or do any of that, I'm gonna use code ECHO. Keeps me full time, guys. Hooks me up straight up. Thank you. So, that's it. That's it. The attack is, is just crushing the base. And I mean, Kneecap, we've seen him a few times here, coming out of Scrappy Nines, doing some really nice work, leading the pack, taking down the number one base from this war, although, I think that most of the bases are max level. If they weren't, I'd probably do them myself so I could look good. Eight more seconds and this base is going to be Gucci. So let me know guys, what do you think about being able to purchase the skins with gems? Would you rather buy them for 1500 gems or buy the Golden Pass for five bucks. So I know you guys have been thinking about AFK Arena the whole time you've been watching this video. So I'm gonna remind you guys one more time to drop down into the description of the video, download AFK Arena using my special link and get your hands on this game. Like I said, it's a ton of fun, especially if you're a collector or a grinder or even just into some great action or art styles. It's a game worth trying out. Go check it out, link down below.
So the question is, do we buy another queen skin or do we wait until more options are available? You know, this is a free to play account. I can't just waste my gems. The reason I did the king, I love that P.E.K.K.A. King. One of the best skins in the game right now. So of course, we'll grab that one right off the bat. But we made progress today, guys. We saw things happen. I have to tell you, I'm feeling good about it. This is the clan. If you want to come on through, apply via Discord. You can be part of our family, whether it's in Scrappy 9s, our, our Scrappy 8s clan, or our max level clans as well. We have an entire family that's open for you guys. As long as you fit requirements, you must apply via Discord. No other way is acceptable. We are so close to getting this research done. I mean, I... I I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to get it going. Probably by the next episode, we'll have some research going because I'm going to do some secret farming off cam. So I'm going to go do that right now, guys. Hope you have a great day and enjoy today's video. Make sure you check out this video and maybe even some of my merchandise right here. Look fresh. Wear Echo. Be good.